Hello to the best probation department in the nation. I'm so proud to be part of this great probation family. You have persevered through the challenging time and the challenging year that we faced during the national and global pandemic, COVID-19. When faced with the national pandemic, each and every one of you showed up, you pivoted, you adjusted, and you overcame the challenges. You have also helped our department when they needed you the most. You have assisted one another, cover other units, and been there to support our clients. Unfortunately, we remain in still in the national and global pandemic. Many of us have received vaccinations, but we continue to be vigilant. Everyone is adjusting to the new normal, including our workforce. As the county prepares to reopen our offices and facilities, I assure you that the department is making every effort to keep our facilities safe and secure. We're all in this together, and I believe we will triumph. Again, I want to thank you for your commitment, your dedication, and your service, and please stay safe and care for one another. And now, I would like to hear from Division Manager, Mr. James Johnson, the Management Services Bureau. Hello, my name is James T. Johnson, Management Services Bureau. The purpose of this video is to discuss the numerous safety protocols that the department has taken to provide a safe work environment for our valued staff and the clients that they service. Several social distancing and personal protection equipment protocols have been taken to provide the safest environment for our clients. Visiting clients will be screened for an appropriate face cover. Those in need will be given a mask, then allowed to enter the lobby. Social distancing floor signage has been placed on the floor and seating has been arranged in such a manner that will allow clients to maintain social distancing guidelines while they wait to be seen by the receptionist. Hand sanitizer dispensers and disinfectant wipe stands have been strategically placed throughout the lobbies for the clients to use at their discretion. Under the direction of the Department of Public Health, clients will not be able to access water fountains. Additionally, plexiglass has been installed for our clerical receptionist and security staff where necessary to provide an additional level of social distancing protection. Under the direction of Area Office Management, plexiglass has been installed in specific areas for our staff. Management Services Bureau will continue to ensure that additional approved requests are handled in a timely manner. Hand sanitizer dispensers and disinfectant wipe stands have also been strategically placed throughout the staff workplaces. Custodial services have been improved to include a day porter whose responsibility is to sanitize high touch areas every hour. Some examples of high touch areas are light switches, doorknobs, refrigerator, and microwave handles. Additionally, as a safety enhancement, self cleaning stations have been installed in staff specific areas to be utilized at their discretion. These self-cleaning stations provide an additional assuredness for a sanitized workspace. So there you have it. From hand sanitizer to plexiglass installations, I am pleased to have been given the opportunity to detail the various area office safety protocols to maintain health standards for staff and clients alike. Please note, additional masks, gloves, and hand sanitizers can be provided with the approval of your Bureau Chief Management. Finally, I'd like to thank Executive Management for their overall support and risk management who was consulted on the social distancing protocols that were discussed today. Partnerships like this make these overarching goals achievable. Thank you and continue to be safe.